Single or double? Normally a question I'd associate with the bar, but the riders of the Enduro World Series think about it in terms of their front chain rings, whether to run one up front or run two. And we thought we'd come and find out why two riders on the same team, Trek Factory Racing, are running different setups, Katie Winton and Rennie Wildharbour. And one of the big parts of the Enduro World Series is not only the predominant racing going down the hill, but also the liaisons linking all the special stages. How much of a sort of focus is that for you over a weekend? It's huge because that's the, your chance to recover before putting in another huge effort. So your chance to recover is the time going up the hill? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sounds, sounds ridiculous, but that's when you're not racing. That's when you need to make the biggest gains to be fresh, be ready, forget about the last stage, think about the next one so you can give your best in the new race which is every stage. And in terms of bike setup we're looking at your beautiful baby blue track here. I mean I'm a little bit jealous of this paint job <laughs> but um, you've got the double ring setup on this. What's the reasons for you uh, choosing that setup? For me it gives me a huge amount of range within you know my gears um, but without taking any compromise in the, sh the crisp shifting. Um, the biggest thing for me as well is using the DI2 is that I can set it up as a synchro thing so I can use one shifter. It allows me to basically ride as if I've got one single ring with the one shifter but have a huge range and just crisp shifting all the time, no compromise. So. The main thing for you is that you can get sort of closer ratios on the back cassette rather than having sort of too much spread between the gears. Yeah, definitely. You know, when you're putting the power down, you don't want to have any doubt in your mind that it's going to slip, it's going to change, it's not going to make it into the next gear. And with this, you know it's there every single time, no matter what you're changing from. And then you've got the wee ring, as you call it, for the climbs. And so uh, how often are you using that? Is that pretty much every climb you're on or yeah. just the... That's the yeah. whole idea is that, you know, I can use the big ring, you know, I've got a 36 ring on the front for going down the hills and then a 26 so that I can just spin and let their legs, legs recover after huge like sprint efforts you yeah. just want to be able to get them spinning round so I've run it all year actually yeah. every single race and I wouldn't change it I'm really happy with it because when I went back to the um, like uh, normal gear shifting with the cables I was getting confused with the left hand right hand thing and yeah. like you're having to think about it a little bit more but with that it takes all the thinking out you're just harder harder easier easier and that's yeah. it you know everything you need to know. So Renny, we've been speaking to your teammate uh, Katie and seeing that she runs a double ring setup, but you've got the different setup, so how come you've got this uh, single ring? There's less parts on the bike, so I prefer to have a clean setup, one by, then two by. Yeah. Maybe for training when it's really steep, but or for adventure trips, two by, but for racing I prefer one by. Especially when I go to high altitude and uh, every gear counts. Yeah. And uh, for racing, uh, yeah, small, be compact and yeah. Fast. So there's obviously the main part of these races is the stages, but then another big part is the liaisons and getting between the stages. How much do you think about and train for and prepare for those liaisons as well as the actual racing? Well, uh, that's kind of the base of the base, base training or, well, I don't uh, care that much about the liaisons, but uh, worst case I can walk. But uh, I have a XT, XT cassette on. So the cassette, you basically still have the uh, close ratios for the racing where you don't want too big a gap, but then you also have the massive big one at the top. I guess we used to call it a granny ring on the front, so it's almost that, or a sort of rescue gear. Yeah, it's uh, for sure, it's a uh, climbing gear, rescue gear. Yeah. It works uh, in this case, and otherwise the steps of the cassette are really nicely and smooth. The gaps in between are the same as on the standard cassette, just this one extra ring yeah. gives a little bit more, uh, saves the leg uphill. What do you pair that with up front? What size chain ring do you run on the front? At the moment I run a 34 okay. chain ring in the front, uh, so I swap for uh, steep training runs back home. 32 and yeah. maybe for a fast race 36. So as you can see there's a huge variety of equipment out there with all the current developments and components and you can see that two riders on the same company's components have chosen completely different setups so that just means great selection for all of us eh? <laughs> <laughs>